Hello guys, what's up? This is Mortaza and welcome to another episode of my Clean Code in C Sharp series. Uh, in the last episode, we talked about, you know, uh, the correct way to use comments and we talked about some of the pitfalls that we uh, usually, you know, uh, run into when, when we uh, use comments. In this episode, I want to very briefly touch upon the uh, concept of XML comments, which uh, I think are much more helpful than ordinary comments and they can really help document your code. Uh, but before we get into that, I just want to emphasize one more time that you always, you know, strive for writing self-documenting code instead of adding comments. So whenever you add comments, just wait a minute, step back and take a look at your code. More often than not, you can refactor your code to make it cleaner and you can, you know, get rid of that comment. And uh, always remember that adding comments, you know, uh, means adding liability, adding responsibility, because you need to maintain not only the code itself, but also the comment. Now let's uh, get to the topic of adding XML comments, which can help document your code. I don't know whether uh, you already, you know, you have already used them or not. In my C-sharp series, I will probably talk about them. Uh, but uh, using, you know, uh, XML comments, it, it, it's very easy. All you need to do is, for example, suppose we, we want to add XML comment for, for this, calculate age. And here, I just type uh, forward slash three times. And here it is, you know, my XML comment. And I can add some information here. For example, for the summary, I can describe this method very briefly. And uh, here I've got the parameter. The name is date of birth and here I can, you know, describe what this uh, parameter represents. And then I will, you know, add some information about what this calculate age will return. So, for example, for the return, I will say uh, this method will return the age of a person based on Mm, their date of birth how about we you know take this and put it for the summary for return is the calculated related age and this is the date time representing representing the uh, date of birth of a person so uh, this uh, you know XML comment helps document your code how if for example I go to program.cs and here I declare a new instance of this person class var person equals new person and here I need to add a using statement right and then I say okay person age right equals person dot calculate age when you you know you've got intelligence here right so this is you know if you watch closely this is the information that we put in our XML comment it says for the summary it says this this method will return the age of a person based on their date of birth so the you know summary that you put here will pop up will show in the uh, intelligence which is very helpful very informative and for your clients you know they will uh, right away know what this method will do so I say calculate age and for you know the date of birth parameter it says the date time representing the date of birth of a person this is exactly what we put here right for our parameter and I can say for example I don't know a date time and uh, let's say the new date time or let's say I don't know <laughs> date time that's now right I want to have a person who was just born a couple of seconds ago so calculate and as you can see the return type the returns is the calculated age this is what we put in here, right? So this is how XML comments can, can help us document our code, our API. 
And of course, again, these comments should be, you know, uh, used in a sporadic way. You shouldn't use them excessively because, uh, uh, again, uh, they are, you know, susceptible to have or the co cause the problems that, you know, ordinary comments cause for you. So even if, you know, these comments are much better than ordinary comments, again, you shouldn't use them all the time. You should just try to use them, for example, for the public interface of your class, for, for your uh, class itself, and for, you know, the methods who really need them. So uh, overall, I'm, I mean, uh, you should try to avoid using comments excessively, either, you know, ordinary comments or XML comments. But of course, between XML comments and ordinary comments, I would probably suggest using, you know, XML comments because they're more meaningful. They add documentation to your code and they uh, try to, you know, help the clients of your code use your code much more easily. Anyway, thank you so much for uh, watching this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, and uh, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so. And share this video with a friend who is learning how to code in C Sharp, how to write clean code in C Sharp. And you can, you know, activate the notification so that you, uh, whenever I publish a new video, you get access to that video instantly. Thank you so much again. And uh, keep up, uh, up, <laughs> stay tuned. And uh, in the next episode, I think I will probably, you know, go into the concept of naming, the importance of choosing meaningful names for uh, different constructs uh, in, in your code. Thank you so much. Till later and bye-bye.